Hey everyone, my name is Rosie and I feel like it's been a long time since we made a piece to add to our wacky wedding photo album. So I thought today we could make a new wedding collage to add to the album. So that means we need our wedding album so we can add our finished piece to that. And then also we need our wedding magazine. And this is the only magazine that I own that's wedding, that has wedding pictures in it. So I'm hoping there's still some good stuff in here for us to make a collage with. So let's flip through this and see what we can make. I've already made a handful of wedding collages for the album. So if you haven't seen all the other videos in that series, you can go check those out. So I've been using this one magazine that whole time. So I've already pulled out a few of my really favorite images from this book. So I'm really trying to take, you know, a fresh look through all these images. And I think that there is an opportunity where, you know, I could use things that aren't brides or grooms. Like these rings, I think, are still wedding related, but might be something different for a new collage. Let's see what's in here. And hopefully we find something fun. Or maybe a cake, we could do something with a wedding cake. That might be fun. After flipping through the magazine again, I really fell in love with these shoes. Now we did do a shoe related wedding collage in the series already, but we took the shoes out of that collage and replaced them. I want to, for this collage, make the shoe sort of the main focus. Now, I'm thinking maybe we could put these in a landscape, sort of wedged in a mountain or something like that. And if we could find a little couple, maybe something around this size, we could have them maybe perched on top of the shoe. And so it's sort of like the shoe is in the landscape and then the couple is on top of the shoe. Something like that, maybe. Or I did find this other couple that's looking down and walking and maybe we use this shoe, we could flip it upside down and it could maybe span across a cliff or something. So they're using the shoe as a bridge as they walk over it. I don't know, we would have to find the right image to make that happen, but I'm really loving these shoes. So I'm gonna pull them out and then look for some other background images, other things to use in the collage, but I'm loving these, so let's pull them out. I have a wild idea, and you know how I can't stop thinking about my wild ideas until I try them. So let's talk through this and see if we can make this work. I found this image in this Canada book. It's actually one of my favorite images from this book and I've yet been able to find a use for it. So maybe today is the day. I was playing around with putting the shoes on top of the trees here, and I thought that would maybe be funny if the shoe, the trees were wearing shoes. But then I was looking at the image that these shoes were on in the magazine, and there were a couple other accessories that went along with the shoes. And I was thinking maybe we could cut these out and also add them to the scene. So it would sort of be like a giant was getting ready for their wedding or something, and their stuff was strewn about. I went back through the wedding magazine and found this lady who's walking away in this dress. And I was thinking, maybe we could put her up here in the top right of this image and we could have her train going through the trees to you know make her feel like she's really walking away from this scene she might be a little bit too big but she also might be perfect so I don't know we have to cut her out and see if she can fit on this scene and then I was also thinking that we could maybe take one of these rings from this image and maybe put one of the rings on the scene as well so we'll have a shoe, some earrings, a bag, maybe not that hair clip, I don't know, I think it might be kind of weird, plus a ring, plus the woman walking away. And so maybe it's not she's getting ready for the wedding, it might be that she had a not great wedding and is kind of walking away from the whole thing. <laughs> not exactly sure, but let's get everything cut out and see if at all this is going to work. Sometimes I surprise myself and I don't think it's gonna work and it ends up working, so let's just, let's just give it a whirl.
All right, moment of truth to see if she's gonna fit on here. All right, she's definitely very large, that's for sure. I could also maybe shorten the train a little bit and take off this extra bit here and have it end a little earlier. Then maybe that she's not taking up quite as much of the page if I do that. And I think I can get her to be about here on the page. And I think if I cut off this part of her, I think that's okay. But also maybe we keep her like she's walking off the page. I don't know, I think we can make that decision at the end. So next steps are going to be cutting around some of these trees here so we can get her really tucked in behind the scene to see what's going on. And then if we can fit her bag somewhere, maybe down here in the front, if we get these really tucked in to the scene, I think that would be great. Maybe we can put this shoe on top of that tree and maybe we put one earring in. I don't wanna overwhelm the scene, but we really have to start putting stuff in, really integrating it to see what we can fit. So let's get these trees cut out so we can slip her behind and see what that looks like. All right, I think this is coming along really well. I do think if I'm being really nitpicky, I do think the shoe, which is just funny because it was sort of the entire inspiration for this whole collage, I do think the shoe maybe stands out a little bit too much. It's maybe a little bit too big, but I think I'm just gonna be okay with it. If I had, you know, other supplies or something, maybe I would change it, but I do think it's all right for this collage. I do not love this ring that I found though. So I found a different ring that I think is a little bit brighter and a little bit smaller. So I think I'm gonna replace this ring with that one. And that I think is the only change that I'm going to make. I think we're in a good place. So let's change the ring out and then see how we feel. I know that's minor, but I do think that ring is just a little bit better. Now, I think I am going to put this off to the side and work on another collage so we can have two wedding collages and then I'll come back and see how I feel about the shoe. I think I'm gonna be okay with it. We still also have to decide if we wanna chop the lady off or not, but let's do something else and come back to that and make those final decisions uh, later. I'm really liking this composition. I do, however, think there needs to be some sort of grounding moment. So I'm gonna bring in my craft paper. And I did a similar thing a couple weeks ago where I did a bathtub with butterflies coming out of it. And I used just a strip of the craft paper to create a ground for the object to sit on. 
I think doing a similar thing with this piece will help a lot. And I think once we crop this up a little bit, not too tight, but definitely make this paper a lot smaller, make the composition a little tighter, we'll have a nice little finished mushrooms growing out of a shoe collage. And I like the juxtaposition of the mushrooms, the sort of natural mushrooms, and this more glam, blingy shoe. And I think they sort of pair well together. It's fun. Guess what time it is? Time to put our finished collages in the photo album. So let's just quickly flip to the new page. We got, we're doing pretty good. We got a couple done. We're about to add two more. All right, so this one's gonna go right about there. Gotta get my corner tabs out. All right. Time to put this in the album. All right, there she is. One more to put in. All right, corner tabs are on. Centering these is so stressful because I think it's, I think it's good. <laughs> Just do your best. All right, we added two more pieces to our photo album and it's looking so good. I love being able to flip through this and seeing all the wedding collages. This is such a fun idea. I love this album so much. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.